بے سمجھ تو رہو ہی الفو سہو بیڈ از دی تھنگ فار وچ دی ہیو بارٹر دیئر سولز اینڈ یک فرو بے ماں اندر اللہ بغیل دیٹ دے آر دس بلیونگ دے آر ریجیکٹنگ دیٹ تھنگ دیٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہے سینڈ ڈاؤن دے آر ریجیکٹنگ قرآن دے آر ریجیکٹنگ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم And the reason of rejecting is بغیان ان ینزل اللہ من فضی علا من یشاء من عباده grudging that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down this blessing to whom he willed to whom he chose he thought that that prophet will also be from among the Jews they thought they thought because after you know حضرت ابراہیم علیہ السلام all the prophets came in the progeny of Yaqub علیہ السلام accepting only one or two the only exceptions are hazrat shuaib alaihi salatu wassalam hazrat ismail alaihi salatu wassalam all the rest of the prophets and messengers they came in the progeny from the children in the tribes that were raised from the children of hazrat yaqub alaihi salatu wassalam so they thought that this is our exclusive proprietorship this will remain with us And the last prophet will also be from among us, from amongst us. But when Allah chose Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was from Bani Ismail, alaihi salatu wasallam. He was not you. He was not from the progeny of Yaqub, alaihi salatu wasallam. So that was the only reason. Bagian, they were grudging it. An Yunus dar Allahu bin Fadlihi ala min yasha wa min ibadhi. That Allah subhanahu wa taala has sent down from His blessings. To whom he liked from his bondsmen. فَبَاوُ بِغَرَبٍ عَلَىٰ غَضَبٍ So they drew upon themselves wrath after wrath from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلِلْكَافِرِينَ عَذَابٌ مُحِينَ And for these disbelievers who have rejected the deen of Allah, who have rejected Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, who have rejected Quran, for them is the punishment which is disgracing. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ آمِنُوا بِمَانَ اللَّهِ And when it is said to them, come to believe what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down. They say, we believe only on those things which were sent to us. And they disbelieve and reject the rest, everything that is beyond it. All that was given to us, to Moses, to all the Hebrew prophets, only we accept that. We need nothing more. They, they are disbelieving the rest. But who will hug for me? Musad de Kaliba Mahu. Although it is the truth, this Quran is the truth. This has been sent down by the same Allah who sent, who sent down Torah and Injil. And Musad de Kaliba Mahu, it is confirming that which is with them, that is Torah and Injil. Ul Falima Takturun Ambi Allah him in Kabul in Kuntum Yumineen. Now Muhammad asked them, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Why have you been killing the prophets? You say whatever was given to our prophets, we believe in it. But this is your history. You yourself tell that you killed jo- Yahya Alaihi Salatu Wasallam, you killed Zakaria Alaihi Salatu Wasallam. So why have you been killing the and murdering the prophets of Allah? In kuntu mu'minin, if you are truthful, if you are believers. If you believed in them, if you believed in the books that were sent on them, why did we kill them? وَلَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مُوسَىٰ بِالْبَيَّنَاتِ And Musa had come to you with clear proofs and signs. سُمَّ تَخَسْتُمُ الْإِجْلَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ But when he left, you took to the worship of Kaaf. وَأَنْتُمْ ظَالِمُونَ And you were very unjust. You were the polytheists. You became مُشْرِكَ and مُرْتَدْ وَإِذَا خَذْنَا مِسَاقَكُمْ وَرَفَعْنَا فَوْقَكُمُ الطُّورِ And recall again the moment when we took the covenant from you and we raised the bound over your heads. خُذُوا مَا تَعْنَاكُمْ بِقُوَّةٍ And we said, Now hold fast to what we have given to you with your full force, the قُوَّةٍ Hold fast to it. Now you must cling to this, this Torah that we have given you. The Sharia that has been given to you. خُلُوا مَا تَعْنَاكُمْ بِقُوَّةٍ وَاسْمَعُوا And keep listening. قَالُوا سَمِعْنَا وَعَصَيْنَا 
The usual word after Samena is Atana. They should have said, we have listened and we have accepted. We listen and we accept and we submit. But now they change the word Atana to Asayana. Now that was the mischief in them. They said, we listen and we disobeyed. We listened and we rejected. And this worship and sanctification of the calf went down deep into their hearts. They kufr him due to their disbelief. Tell them, what, how bad is the thing which your Iman is teaching you? If you are, you claim Mu'min to be Mu'min, is this the attitude that the Iman should take? You have been worshipping calf. 